What are the different types of air purifiers you can get? When you finally decide to get an air purifier, you might find yourself faced with the daunting task of deciding which type you should go for. Well, if this is you, then you are in luck as in this video, you are going to discover all the main types of air purifiers out there and information that will help you decide which type is best for you. In short, there are about 17 distinct types of air purifiers on the market today. The five most common of these, include HEPA, Ionic, Photocatalytic Oxidation, aka PCO, Ozone and Thermodynamic Air Purifiers. Of the 17 types of air purifiers, in this video, we are only going to touch on these five main types. So, what are you waiting for? Let's get started. Number 1. HEPA Air Purifiers. HEPA Air Purifiers have got to be by far the most popular and common type of air purifier out there. HEPA stands for High Efficiency Particulate Air and Air Purifiers that contain this kind of air filter are called HEPA Air Purifiers. HEPA Air Purifier filters are fiber-like material with very tiny holes, placed strategically within a device, to act as a sieve and hold back air pollutants that are bigger than these holes. When in action HEPA air purifiers work by sucking air within themselves and through the filter, and then blowing the sucked air out of the device thereafter. As the air passes through the filter, pollutant particles are trapped through a mechanism of interception and impaction and the air comes out of the purifier fresher than it was when it entered. The more air passes through the purifier the cleaner it gets. HEPA filters are designed to trap pollutant air particulates that are as small as 0.1 microns. HEPA air purifiers are very effective with mold, mildew, dust and other ultra-fine and large air particles, but unfortunately, they can't get rid of gas and odor molecules as these particles fall under 0.1 microns. Our recommendation is to stick to a HEPA air purifier if you are not trying to get rid of bad smells, toxic gas or volatile organic compounds and if your main concern was airborne particulate matter like dust, pollen, or soot from traffic pollution. 2. Photocatalytic Oxidation or PCO Air Purifiers PCO air purifiers use broad-spectrum UV light in a reaction chamber to cause a reaction with water moisture and a thin sheet of a metal catalyst such as titanium dioxide that creates superoxides and hydroxyl radicals that burn air contaminants. In this reaction, PCO air purifiers destroy air pollutants that get exposed and absorbed on the surface of the thin metal catalyst film of the air purifier's reaction chamber. All this happens as the air purifier circulates air in and out through its reaction chamber core using an internal fan. PCO air purifiers will incinerate every air contaminant, from gases to particulates as small as 0.001 microns. This is 100 times smaller than what HEPA air purifiers can get rid of. 3. Ionic air purifiers. Ionic air purifiers are also known as negative ion generators or ionizers. They work to remove air contaminants by using an electrical charge to produce negative ions, which are then released in the air. These ions then react with positively charged pollutants in the air and neutralize them, causing them to fall to the ground as they become too heavy to stay suspended in the air once neutralized, and eventually resulting in clean air in your home. Ionizers are great at dealing with germs, bacteria, and viruses and also do well with pollen, dust, and other particulates in the air. They are however limited when it comes to dealing with gases and odors. Ionic air purifiers can only remove particles of 10 microns and more. Compared to other types of air purifiers, ionizers usually take much longer to improve air quality. Moreover, over time, they result in a buildup of thin films of neutralized particles on surfaces and walls around your house. Lastly, most ionizers produce ozone which is a harmful irritant for humans and animals. This point takes us to our next type of air purifier. This point takes us to our next type of air purifier 4. Ozone Generators Despite its harmful effects on humans, ozone is a strong oxidizer and cleaning agent and does quite a good job at cleaning the air. It's also the only type of air purifier that can clean air pollutants when they are not airborne and they are settled on surfaces. Ozone generators clean the air by releasing ozone into the air in your room. As the ozone spreads in and around the air in your room, because it's such an unstable substance, it chemically reacts with air pollutants around your room turning them into water molecules, and carbon dioxide but sometimes other toxic substances as well. Ozone has its advantages especially when it comes to dealing with pollutants like dust mite, strong entrenched odors, and mold on walls, but you have to know how to use it. If you mess around, this stuff can easily kill small pets. In small quantities, ozone can cause you chest pains, and make breathing difficult. In large quantities, it causes iron throat irritations and also lung damage. 
It's highly recommended to call a professional cleaning service when using ozone generators to cleanse your air. Lastly, number 5. Thermodynamic Sterilization or TSS Air Purifiers. TSS Air Purifiers use heat sterilization in a ceramic core with microcapillaries. The ceramic core heats up to 200 degrees Celsius and incinerates pollutants. TSS purifier manufacturers claim that this technology can get rid of 99.9% .9 of microorganisms in your air. TSS purifiers do not filter, trap or remove particles like filter-based air purifiers but rather rely on air convection for air to pass through the core and once they clean the air it is immediately cooled using heat transfer plates and released back into your house. TSS purifiers have no known harmful byproducts and can reduce the concentration of ozone in your atmosphere. Now you know about the five main types of air purifiers worth considering. If you also want to learn about the other 12 types of air purifiers not discussed in this video, before you make a final decision on which type is suitable for you, visit our blog by following the link in the video description.